Hello everyone and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I'm Paula and I am here today so excited to be doing a cash stuffing. I am going to stuff today um, all of my binders except for um, the house categories um, binder. I want to do that one on a separate video. But today I will be stuffing a total of $672 in um, all three of my binders. It'll be my daily my sinking funds and my uh, savings binder okay so let's just jump right into it um i think i'm gonna count it on um i was gonna say online but i'm gonna count this now i did count it before just to make sure um but i think you guys like to see me count or possibly like to see me mess up counting i don't know but um we're gonna do that and then this is my cheat sheet this is gonna tell me where i can zoom in a little i think my camera has been really like lopsided so i do apologize if this looks like it's cricket um i don't know what happened Oh, I think I know what happened. My daughter, my 14-year-old, used my ring light last night. She didn't think I saw her, but I did. So I think maybe it might be slanted or something. But this is my, what I call like my cheat sheet. This is also like a bill breakdown for me. It's going to let me know um, how much money goes into what category and what binder. And as you can see, I am running out of ink. Um, so I've got to replace ink cartridge for my printer so let's go ahead on and get started with the counting i think i'm gonna slide this way hopefully i am centered so we've got one two hundred three hundred four hundred one two three four five hundred one two three four five six seven eight nine ten six hundred so it's one two three four five six hundred and then we've got ten twenty thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty fifty five oops <laughs> 55, got to keep that in mind, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 71, and 2, 72. Okay, so that was the counting, and I did not mess up, so let's just go ahead on and get started. Um... The first set of categories will be in my daily, my daily binder. So y'all, we are having a wonderful, very nice day today. Um, it's really nice. I got up super early. My oldest daughter um, had a field trip to, to go on. So I had to actually take her to school this morning super early this is my binder my daily binder um so yeah that's what we did this morning and so i've been up ever since like 4 30 something this morning so this is the um youth trip that my kids will be going on in june with the rest of the youth at church so last my extra income I took out $55, so this paycheck, we're going to take out another $55, and y'all, my son is playing his Oculus. It's um, the weekend, so he's playing the Oculus. If you hear him in the background, I do apologize. So I'm not keeping like a, I don't have a, a tracker for this, but we've got 110 It's not much that um, I had to um contribute to for all three of mine uh let's see so i'm just gonna put up here how much it is and what i will probably do is tomorrow when i go to church i'll probably go ahead on and give this money in turn this into a financial department group so that's going to go in my tithe and offering envelope so that is that. 
um, I am going to combine, I hope you guys can see this part. I'm going to combine our impact nights and our drive through night um, out of this pay period. Impact session is also a teen group session that the church has for the teenagers. Um, and so I am going to, that, that those nights were going to be really busy. So I am going to add, an, oh, actually, I'm going to combine a drive through, which is two 20s and four 10s. One, two, three, four. I am going to combine those. Oopsie. Um. I'm just trying to see what happened. You know, I find it just a little bit challenging. I'm going to get better at it. I think I just need to put more effort into it. Um, what? How much is this total? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, $80. Uh, that's a bit much for like drive through But I, I'm starting to combine... Um, that impact night instead of like pulling it from like another account. I think I think what I've done in the past, to be honest, I think I have pulled from my my food envelope for impact. But it'll be nice just to separate that, right? Um. So yeah, I was saying I was trying to get better at something. I don't know. It is y'all. It's a challenge to um talk and keep up with uh <laughs> with everything when you're cash stuffing i'm gonna pull the tracker out that's what i was saying i was gonna do better at and that is updating my trackers because i think i have a hard time with let me see how much is in here right now and then that way i can update trackers. so that's the 50 dollars that we're putting in today i've got i've got more in here than what I thought I was supposed to have. I don't know what happened. So let's just count it. 20, 40, 60, 70, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 79. So let's update that. And I don't have my calculator, guys. So we have, I don't really know what happened. <laughs> so I'm just going to say plus 79. Cause that's what's in there and then we're adding 50 so that is 129 which is not a bad thing and it's in our food category it's just a challenge to for me i just got to get better at it like while i'm in the moment i don't care if i'm in drive through or at the grocery store um updating that so let's see i have a 20 dollar bill oh i actually have more than 20 dollars i've got 31 dollars in household and household today is getting just 15 the tracker is not accurate but we'll update that my main things that I want to, my main categories that I do want to keep a track of, and that is my food, drive through. Those are the main things. So we had, we had thirty one dollars in there. So we had thirty one. We're adding fifteen. That's gonna be forty six dollars in there. Should be 46. Let's count 20, 30, 45, 6. Yes. Um, so that'll give us $46. I've got to get a couple of items for the house anyway that I have not done. So like um, some laundry and some laundry products we've got to get done. Um, Jordan is getting three tens. 
she's got money in her bank account and the at the bank but this is what we call just some money that she can have until she gets her allowance again sometimes i hold this money if she's going to get her hair done that's why just to know if you are a new um viewer and you're just watching my these videos um my kids my daughters have um a little bit more in their allowances than what I would typically give them. But what I am doing is I'm combining what other YouTubers would call like a beauty envelope. They'll get their hair done. Um, my daughters like to get braids. My other daughter likes, um, she's 16, so she'll get like different styles. So I combine that money in with their allowance. And then it helps them to budget, start budgeting and say, okay, this is how much money I have. Is it enough for me to get my braids or should I wait? So instead of me doing that, I actually, you know, give them a larger amount um, for their allowance. And then I'll say, okay, this, you know, do you want to get your braids or get your hair done this week or next week? Or you want to wait? to the end of the month when you, you know, have a second round of your allowance and then you can save more, things like that. So I wanted to at least start them on thinking about their budget, thinking about how much they have, what they want to do. Do they want to, what's, what's more important? You know, what's the most important thing to you right now? Is it to get snacks like at McDonald's or Starbucks, you know, or do you want to treat yourself like that or you want to save that money? Because you really want to get, like, your um, hair done, you know. So, and then always, if they don't have enough and it really is time for them to get their hair done, I will um, help them out, you know. So, it's not like, oh, you don't get your hair done. You've got to go without, you know. <laughs> You've got to go out looking terrible because you don't have enough money. No, I, I'm always here to, you know, help them. But... I do want them to start thinking about stuff like that. Um, Caleb is getting, he did some really good chores and he did some extra things around the house. So I bumped him up today. He does have money in his savings, but today he is getting $40. So he should currently have, oops, his money was sliding down. He currently has $7. And he has decided to cancel his Minecraft um, membership for that upgrade charging on his Minecraft game. So we have canceled that. So it should be in effect this month. It should go into effect like the 20th or 21st, something like that. So he's cho choosing to save that $10 and let that $10 go somewhere else instead of um, his membership. So. I've got to keep my eye on making sure that they do not take out that ten dollars um so he is getting forty dollars today so he will have a total of 47 so he's getting 120 where is he oh right here 120 110 and then he gets some ones because um of his tithe and offering and things like that. So I kind of give him like a couple of ones. So I give him like 10 ones. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that should be 47. Let me pull everything up together. Get this money in order. Oh boy, it is Mother's Day, Mother's Day weekend. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to everyone, um, even if you're not a um. Oops, I don't like that. A how is this money going? If you're not an official official mama, but you chip in and you help out, I am a strong believer and advocate for it takes a village. I'm telling you. If you knew my life story, you would be like, yeah, girl, yes, your village people are awesome. So it takes a village to raise children. So I, um, and I was actually glad that um, this past week was teachers, teachers Appreciation Week. And I mean, I considered the teachers at my kids' school a part of my village. Um, I keep 
in close communication with my um, my kids' student. I mean, my kids' teachers. So if you may not be an official mama, you may help out a child or or is in a child's life, and that to me is just as important. So twenty. 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Caleb's got a whopping $47. And, you know, he has, he has um, a savings account at the bank. He also has a piggy bank that he counted his money, um, but I told him he's got quite a bit in that piggy bank, actually. And I am going to put that actually in our safety deposit box um, instead of at the bank. We'll just kind of let that build up before we take it down um, to the bank. All right. So my money, mama's money. Happy Mother's Day. I think that's what I was saying. <laughs> Y'all, I get so like... I don't know about you, but I get so distracted and I'm trying to talk so it won't be boring, but I get so distracted and I think I jumped from conversation to conversation, but I was intending to say happy Mother's Day to everyone, right? I apologize. I'm all over the place. I, um, that's a, I'm getting 15, so I'm getting the 10 and a five and I feel like this thing is going super slow, y'all. I'm sorry. $25 for me. Oh, wait. That's my money. Mama's money. I think I pulled it from the wrong spot. That's my. <laughs> I don't have no money. That's miscellaneous money. Told y'all I can't like talk and count and concentrate and all this stuff all at the same time. I'm glad I didn't use my tracker. I used $15 of, I mean, right on, on that miscellaneous tracker. I put the miscellaneous tracker back in the envelope there this is going to be $15 for me I currently have no money I used I used it to help go towards getting my nails done y'all I'm so simple and I got to get better I've had this polish which I do love I love the natural look but I think it's time for me to get some spring colors. What do y'all think? I think so. But, you know, I'm so... My kids tease me because they say, like, Mom, you could be a cartoon character. You never really change up. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I hate when they're right, right? I hate when they're right. I was like, oh, just be quiet. <laughs> Nobody's really talking to you anyway. But, um, no, yeah, I think it's time for me to get some spring colors nails so i may step out of my comfort zone there and get um a nice little cute spring color okay now we're on miscellaneous you know i'm sorry that this video is so long today please forgive me we currently have ten dollars let's see what the tracker says tracker says survey says <laughs> Something like that. Oh, Tracker says that we got $10 in miscellaneous, so that's great. We are going to put another $10 in miscellaneous. That's going to be $20 in miscellaneous today, which is good. We're building back up our cushion. If I don't need it, I won't spend it, right? So if I don't need this, I won't spend it. And that is the goal to really not, oops, thought that looked weird. Not to spend it if I don't need it. Y'all, it's it's been like, I think April was kind of a rough, March was rough. I think that was when Caleb broke his glasses the month of March and things kind of, that's it for this one. Things kind of was, yeah, I'm not stuffing after school, things were kind of rough March, then a little bit in April. And if you are new with budgeting, y'all, I just want to say it happens. It really does happen. Um, but as long as you are, you know, knowing where your money is, even if you have to go in and out of it, um, and when you know where your money is, 
it that's a good thing it's nothing like saving it um even like the seeking funds i'm really proud of myself for the seeking funds um because to me I, it caused me i don't know about y'all but like it caused me to really think about what it is that i wanted to do with my money and my finances for the year right um and i don't know if i told i think i said this in one of my previous videos i am this is my sinking fund binder i have already started to look at um what is it next year's categories and sinking funds things that i thought about this year that i want to start saving for next year um i've already been i've already like printed out my categories and set my goals for those sinking funds and that's honestly the to me that's one of the fun things about budgeting is looking at okay what is it that i want to do for the next in the next three months the next six months what's coming up in my life that i want to start saving for giving we're going to jump right into giving this is the christmas giving envelope um that i am really passionate about and want to give um outside of my family members i want to give some you know i want to i want to be able to bless someone and do that that's that's really a a, a passion of mine so I'm saving up for that. You know, even if it's something like that, you know, um, a special Christmas gift that you want to give someone that's not a family member, you know, you want to do something nice, you can budget for it, right? I love it. So before the 50, we had 100, 20, 41. So we had 141, and that's what the tracker said. We're going to add another 50. So that's going to be one. Oops. Another 50. That's going to be 191. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I do. I'm, I am so grateful to be able to be a part of this budgeting community. I want to say thank y'all to subscribing to this channel as crazy as I can be. And whew, just all over the places I can be. We're not doing dental right now. Mm-mm, y'all. Mm-mm. I did not do that right. That's my family Christmas envelope, y'all. And I'm not, I'm not giving fifty for my for my Christmas. I'm gonna do that in order. So, told y'all I cannot talk and count all of this stuff. That's my family Christmas. That's my family Christmas envelope. I, Cause you know what? When I saw it, when I counted the money, I was like, "Oh, I'm really doing good." Like I am doing good in, in the giving envelope, the gifting envelope. Um, but I was like, "I ain't know I was doing that good." <laughs> so, and I need to change that. I think that's well. I have giving. Maybe it should be gifting or something or gift, whatever matches my envelope, right? But I am giving fifty dollars. I currently have, and that's right, my gift envelope, I'm not keeping a track of it. And that's a good thing because I'm just stuffing it as I go. And whatever I have left or, or whatever I have in this envelope when it's time, then I'll use that, right? So, yeah, um, $50 plus the 31 that's $81 that I'm not keeping a track of. I'm just stuffing it. Y'all, this is ridiculous. If me talking is make giving out any clue of what's going on in my head, then trust me, it is telling the tale. It is telling the tale. It is surely letting y'all know what's going on. All right, holiday food. Holiday food is for Thanksgiving and Christmas. We currently have $15 in there. We're going to add $5, leaving it with $20 dollars so far so good right and that is for purchasing holiday food items or any thanksgiving christmas little decorations that we want to use some cutesy you know christmas um, plates and cutlery and stuff 
I am not stuffing kids' clothes right now. My oldest girls, they also do that with their allowance. They save up. Um, and I think that's really what they did. They saved up to order some clothes online for spring and going into summer. Jordan just sent me some items. Let's go back to Christmas. Um, some items that she wanted to order online, some clothes items she wanted to order online. So that's probably what she's gonna do. She got her hair done already because it was for her sister's uh, for her sister's birthday party. So she's got braids in already. So we are adding $50 to, mm -mm, we're adding $100 to this today. Am I right? Yep, I'm right. $100, this pen is dying out. So that is going to be, should be $241 in Christmas. Because it's already $140 here. We're going to add, I'm going to take a $100 bill. Yeah, we, I had monies in this Christmas, but I actually had, no, yeah. I actually pulled from this in March, it looks like, because it looks like my tracker started in April. So I think with Caleb's glasses, I was pulling, y'all. When when life happens, listen, you got you to gotta do what you have to do. So I pulled from Christmas because I knew I would have time to, like, double up on um, putting my, stuffing this envelope. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. And we'll be good. We'll be good by the time um, it's time for me to get Christmas gifts. I apologize for this long video, y'all. Summer camp. I'm looking for summer camp. Summer camp is getting 120. Um, what do we currently have in here? Currently have $50. We're adding 20, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. 70. I've already paid for Caleb's um, swim lessons. So this is going to help go towards um, summer camp for the week. And we're almost, we're almost there. It wasn't that much. Um, so this, that's it for sinking funds. Back to school is not getting anything. Birthdays, no. Christmas, we did. Dental, no. Gifting, yes. Holidays, yes. Kids' clothes, no. Summer camp, yes. And truck care, no. I heard a sound in my truck, though. I didn't really like it, but then it went away. So I think I'm going to be going, saving up some money to... I don't like, I don't like weird sounds. And my truck is not a brand new truck, so yeah, I'm going to get that taken care of and looked at. So we are looking for vacation. That's what we're looking for right now. Vacay. Vacay got wiped out. So we are currently jumping back into stuffing it again. And it is getting a hundred and twelve dollars. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump into stuffing this um, back. So we are going to start. We adding a hundred and twelve. It is what it is, and we just had to do what we have to do. Um, I do have savings, so I'm not worried about vacation too much. We will be fine. Um, student loan. I am saving up student loans to get ready to do whatever, if anything, needs to happen. 247. Let's see. 1, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven. We've got two forty-seven in there already. We're gonna do our usual sixty-three dollars. We're adding 
63, which will give us a zero. That's, is that right? That's not right. That's not right. I don't have my calculator. Sorry, I was trying to do it in my head, y'all. So that's zero, 10, that's five. No. <laughs> I keep messing up. That's 11, y'all. I'm so sorry. It's 10, 6, that's 11, 3. So it should be 3, 10. I'm getting tired. I've been up since 4.30, y'all. So, hey, we're going to get a 50, the last 50. A 10 and three ones. One, two, three. So it should be 310. I think that's what it is. I'm getting sleepy. I can kind of feel like I'm getting sleepy. Uh, let's see. Add this money together and let's count it. Just want to make sure it's right. 1, 2, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, three, ten. We're doing pretty good. Okay, and what's left? That was student loan. We have emergency fund. I think that's in the front. Whew. Emergency fund. We had to start building this back up. 125, it should be one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, yes. And we're adding today $27. All right. 27. That's 12, 4, 5. 152, let's see, 1, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 51, 2, yes, indeedy, we have stuffed a total of $672 today, guys, um, not bad, I'm really proud of myself, I'm really, really, really proud of myself, um, that's it for today, so, let's see what we got going on. We're going to stretch out the giveaway time frame till next week, next Friday. Um, you have to be, and I forgot to say this, right, in um, my other, my previous videos about the rules. Um, and I, I want to say thank you to the viewers and subscribers who are um, international subscribers. They actually made me aware, and I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot to say that. And that is you must be living in the States, unfortunately, um, right now with me just having a small amount of subscribers, I don't really have the monies to send gifts away like overseas, um, because the shipping is pricey. So I apologize for that. So in this video, um, in the descriptions, there will be instructions on how to enter. If you are interested, um, with getting or interested in getting one of the two binders that I have, I thought that would be a good start to have these two. I think this is a, the green one is eight, mm -mm, a A5, I think. And this one is an A6, I believe. Y'all let me know if that's correct. I think the green one is a size A5 and the pink one is A6. If not, then it's vice versa. Um, and... I am going to get envelopes for them. So at least you'll have envelopes for them. I've got envelopes in here, but I, I want to get some new ones. They look like, I guess there's, it's just been pressed on or something. I don't know. And it's just like got some indentions on it. They don't really look fresh and new. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order a new pack. So yeah, that's what we're giving away. I want to say thank you so much to um, my subscribers. If you are new to this channel, please um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you are new and you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and 
select the notification um, bell so that you can oops can receive um, notifications on um, any new videos that I put out. I um, think that that's pretty much it. I want to say thank you so much for taking out the time to watch this video. And I am messing up the camera as I talk. Um, and so, yeah, just thank you so much for, for taking out time to watch this video, you guys. I am probably going to try to relax this afternoon. Um, it is Mother's Day, so I am going to do some things for myself today. And then my kiddos are going to celebrate Mama on um, throughout the, the weekend. I think on tomorrow they'll do that. I'm going to try to get this video posted. What I've been noticing, and I do apologize... When I film, I'm giving you the day that I'm filming, but then I actually post it the next day. So it's like it's a day behind, and I apologize for that. I'm going to work on um, either not saying what the day is and just and then post it and then you'll get it, or I will um, film it and post it on the same day. So I, I was looking back and I was like, oh. I'm like a day behind. That's weird. So y'all just bear with me. I am going to enjoy my day. I hope you do the same. Please take care of yourself. Please continue to make good financial choices. Start budgeting. Start saving you guys. And have a good weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.